Let's turn to health care. President Trump signed an executive order on Friday that he said would have the effect of easing the burden of Obamacare. What's your understanding of what this executive order will mean? Well, let me first say this. They are in such, they are in such a, pro they have so many problems with their repeal and replace. Uh, it's interesting. If you would have told me that at this point in time, Democrats would be united and on offense and Republicans would be divided on defense when it comes to ACA or the cabinet for that matter, uh, I would have said, you know, you're wrong. But it's true. And we've had a very strong two weeks um, because they're in such a pickle. Uh, they don't know what to do. Um, they can repeal, but they don't have any plan for replace. And the president's executive order just mirrored that. They said, do good things, not bad things, and do things that, are con um, that comply with the law. That's meaningless. And uh, it's because they promised everybody they were going to repeal. But now they've seen all the good things in ACA, the 20 million people covered, uh, pre-existing conditions covered, kids 21 to 26 get their parents' health uh, health insurance, uh, women treated equally as men. And they know that to repeal these things without finding a way to do them, to undo them, uh, would be catastrophic, uh, substantively and politically. So they're in a total pickle. And this regulation uh, does really nothing. 